In Denver today, Senator Michael Bennett met with Colorado small business owners determined to protect our public lands they say are being targeted by the White House. Our Sean Chitness was at the roundtable today. And Sean, Colorado just landed the Outdoor Retailer Expo, and these business owners want to build on that success. Kathy, that's right. And the show is what brought those business owners from across Colorado here to Denver, giving them the chance to meet today to talk about public lands, how they can preserve them for future generations, but also make sure they continue to benefit from being a part of a local economy that uses them right now. They belong to us. And they're out there so we can go out and enjoy them. Public lands are some of the biggest straws in Colorado from the Continental Divide to the canyons of the ancients. We really wanted to join the um, growing group of outdoor industry who are putting their foot down and saying, no, this is really, really important to us and we're going to stand behind this cause. But in the past year, advocates for these open spaces are worried about their future. The Department of the Interior has discussed selling off public lands and allowing energy development. That has to be stopped. P.T. Wood owns a distillery in Salida. Today, he told Senator Michael Bennett and others benefiting from the Continental Divide that 80% of his business comes from tourists checking out those public lands and then stopping by his tasting room. It's important to our, to Salida, to my business, to our, uh, our area, to have those open spaces. Business owners spent the afternoon with Bennett brainstorming how to save these spectacular sites of Colorado. We rely on the outdoor industry and public lands and places for people to be able to get out and play. And Senator Bennett reminded everyone at the meeting today to keep telling lawmakers how much they care about those open spaces. And some of those business leaders have actually already joined forces to sign a letter telling the federal government how much they care and need the Contal Divide Trail to remain the way it is now. Live tonight in downtown Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado First.